The firings of two employees of the Rio Resort on Paradise Island sparked protests at the property today. The firings, along with other grievances, has also quickened demands for the formation of a union. Today, our Janine Noel Ferguson talked with staff about how far they're prepared to take their fight. Bartender Sean Campbell and Supervisor Monica Knowles were fired from the Ryu Hotel last week after eight years on the job. And today their former co-workers joined them in protest. It's like victimization to me right now as it stands because I don't know the reason why. And I asked the question why I have not gotten a response from no one. When I went downstairs in HR and I asked them what's the reason of me being terminated, they told me no reason. And when I asked the GM what was the reason, he didn't even open up his mouth and say nothing. The small group of employees had expected more workers to support their cause. But after numerous calls and messages, the staff on the outside said the staff on the inside were reportedly being locked in. A few calls later, a group of employees dressed in uniform joined the protest. Campbell said that the employees are now calling for the property to become unionized. The people tired writing on paper and sending information to labor. The people tired now, as y'all can see. Understand to take action now because the situation was going on in this hotel toward, against the general manager, towards the staff, it's, it's out of control. A lot of things that goes on here with the public and other persons is not aware of. First Vice President of the Bahamas Hotel and Allied Workers Union, Godfrey Bryce, was on site for the process. He said while it was an observation exercise for the union, he hopes they will be able to get the required 50 plus 1 percent from employees so that they can start the process toward unionization. When you see management go, really go and lock doors to stop the employees from coming outside to demonstrate or whatever they might do because if they're tired, because of whatever situation is going on in that place, well, we are here to not only assist, but to guide them in the direction that they should go. Uh, one time ago, we had like Indians, 900 of them came when they were building the Cable Beach Hotel, and they sat down for something that they thought was unfair and unjust to them. And you know what, at the end of the day, they got exactly what they wanted. And we need more stuff like this. As a matter of fact, I think that every employee in this hotel right now, they should be out here. Everyone. I don't care which, even the supervisors, they should be out here. Because these are behemoths. The government talk about, you know, all the time they talk about. Bryce said that the union will be there to support the employees for as long as they need it. In the meantime, the employees say they will continue to walk off the job until their grievances are heard. Repeated calls were placed to management for comment, but we were told that they were unavailable. Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNES Network News.